Welcome to the Doggy Dojo. Today we're going to be covering a trick that a lot of people have asked me to teach and that is skateboarding with your dog. This is a very popular trick but very difficult to master. But we're going to be breaking it down in little steps today here on the Doggy Dojo. Today we're going to cover skateboarding but we're also going to talk about AKC Trick Dog Performer Title. In the last few videos we've talked about how to get your dog the novice title, the intermediate title, the advanced title, and now we're jumping into performer title where things get a little bit more serious. On the performer level, you need to do 10 tricks like before, but three of them have to involve props. And that's why we're gonna be using the skateboard today because that is considered a prop. And here, as you can see, are all the different tricks you can do and also see which ones you wanna pick out to do the performer level. I like to go ahead and jump over to the evaluator guy and let's just take a look at the skateboarding trick and what they're looking for. A dog can skateboard five body lengths. So we're gonna be showing you ways to get your dog the distance in order to do that. As always, we have our special guest here, Enya, to show you guys how to do this trick and how I got started with it. We are working with Enya on the distance portion of the trick and making sure she can skateboard five body lengths. Here, Enya, are you so excited? Are you so excited? Are you so excited? <laughs> First of all, you're gonna need a skateboard. Any skateboard will do. Um, you can do some customizations to the skateboard to make it easier for the dog to move around. Um, this skateboard just came straight from the store, no customization, so it has a little bit of more traction, which sometimes I like in the beginning because I want the dog to not feel so scared. If they put their paw on this and it goes flying across the room, it can be a little scary. I have a nice smooth surface on the floor here, on the ground first. <laughs> yes, to reward any paws on the skateboard. Any paw movement on the skateboard will help her be successful. Yes, moving it around. Sometimes putting your hand on it and controlling the movement in the beginning can be very helpful. You can do a search cookie search and have her come back onto it. Yes, good. That's the direction we're going for. So search, searching behind the skateboard and having her jump on it. Now a lot of dogs in the beginning are just going to put two paws on it or one paw on it and they're going to be afraid of this motion here. So don't be afraid to spend some time getting your dog used to kind of wiggling this around. You can sometimes put something like a towel or a piece of carpet on there so it doesn't necessarily move as fast. Um, that way it's really solid for the dog to put their paws onto. And that's the beginning. I'm gonna put your foot right here. Come jump on. Yes, good job. You may add a little bit of movement to it. Ready? And you can always step on it too to stop the moving search. Go a little bit further. Have them jump on. Yes, there we go. Very nice. Every skateboard's gonna be a just a little bit different. It's gonna be some difficulty kind of getting used to it sometimes. So take your time, be slow with this. Let's like build a lot of confidence on this first step. If this takes you a week, two weeks to build that confidence, don't worry. I want you to have confidence with your dog. As you can see with Enya right here, she is really confident about the skateboard. She can't wait to get back onto it. So we're gonna use another little skill, our little thing to help her build some distance with this. Now that I know she has the ability to really move this thing around, I'm gonna put her on a stay on the climb. It's gonna help her let me put the skateboard down and add some distance here. Okay, <laughs> you're so excited. Do you love the skateboard? I do. Wait, wait for it. Wait. Wait. Take just a little bit of distance out. I'm gonna come right here and say, get it. Yes, good job. Very nice. Not too far. Just getting the dog used to the idea of it. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna add lots of distance here, so she has to kind of start pushing it to get to me. Get it. Or not. Yes, good girl. Very nice. She had to push a little bit, which is great. I love it. Search, good job. So, let's go a little bit further. Go really far. Get it. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Let's see if she'll just jump on it. She needs to kind of bring the skateboard to me. So that's going back up a couple steps. They're getting closer, we're gonna say, get it. Good girl. Nice. Push, push. Good girl. Push, push. Yes. Good girl. Nice job. So we have the riding aspect, but really don't have the push aspect yet. That's a whole other skill in itself. So we might do is work on that a little bit. Get it. Yes. Good. So see how that leg's coming down? Push. Okay. I might do a search. Good job. That is looking good. Awesome job. So 
As you can see, Inya is just flying on the skateboard. She's really used to just riding it along the way, but we gotta start working on the push aspect and getting her to push along the path. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get her kind of slowed down and start really getting her, teaching her to using her back feet to push this board along. Because yes, she can probably ride it five by lengths if she has enough speed, but we also, depending on the surface, we'll make sure she knows how to navigate and push on the skateboard in a straight direction. In a future video, we might start covering how to get your dog to start turning the skateboard and how to start really navigating this board. And that's kind of what Inya is doing right now, and I'm going to be starting to film and train that process and show you guys. If you don't want to miss that video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions about this. But let's go ahead and jump back into it, and let's see if we can get Inya really pushing on this. Break, get it. and she is having a ball too seeing Inya push the skateboard. This is my wonderful five-month-old Zoe. Zoe, you see? You see yourself on camera? <laughs> Hi, do you want to help Inya finish this trick off? Let's see if we can do it together. All right, Inya fans, let's go. Inya, you ready? Get it, go. Go, 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 push, 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 push. Yay, Inya fans, woo! Good girl, super. So Enya did it with a little help from her coach, Zoe. <laughs> she loves helping us train around here. Um, she is really getting involved and having some fun training the dogs. I hope you enjoyed training the dogs with us as well. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comment section down below. As always, have some fun with your dogs, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!